The Lost King, starring Sally Hawkins and Steve Coogan. You are really courageous, and on the other hand, you have that unique sense of humor, putting Richard himself there. Uh, do you mind sharing some thoughts about how did you came up with that idea? And if you had the unique opportunity of speaking to Richard III, what do you think he would say about the film? Thank you so much. <laughs> this, it, it wasn't my idea. The writers had the idea. And I think it took them about two years to convince Philip that it was all right. So, don't look at me, I'm, I'm just a film director. Um, what would Richard say? He would say, I didn't kill the princes in the tower. That's the next thing that will fall. That's the next bit of history that will change, that he didn't kill the princes in the tower. The truth is, the real usurper was Henry the Seventh, who was, of course, the father of Henry VIII, and changed the history of Britain. So, it, it, somewhere in there, is, is, it is very, very interesting. But that's for historians, not for ordinary people. But, <clears throat> the thing that most impressed me was that, at the end of the film, it talks about the Royal Archives in Windsor being changed and the word usurper being removed from Richard's name. It seems to me that that must have been done by the Queen because nobody else would dare do it without the Queen being consulted. So the Queen agreed to that. I think that's, I think that's an incredible achievement. To, come, to get the Queen to change her mind is already a monumental decision. So um, I think he'd say thank you. Well, I hope you say thank you.